A document theme is a set of formatting options that includes colors, fonts, and effects, which harmonize with one another or complement each other throughout the entire document and can be applied in a single click. For example, have you ever inserted a couple of objects into your document where one object you had one color and another object you want to give a color and not the same color as the first one, but something complementary, something that's not so contrasting that it distracts the reader, or better yet, another example is the font. For your headings, you have one type of font, and for the body of the document, you want something that, again, doesn't contrast so much that it annoys the reader between the heading and the body of the text. Well, there's your document themes. If you want to apply one or see what they look like, then come up here, click on the Design tab, go to the Document Formatting group, and it's right there. You can see when I hover over it in the pop-up, it says pick a new theme to give your document instant style and just the right personality. Ooh, personality, I'm intrigued. Go ahead and click on it, and there's all the different themes, and you can see the different types of what are they? Over here, colors, fonts, and effects. So if you're looking at one theme and you're like, well, I don't like the fonts there or the colors, but in general, I think it's okay, you can select it, and after you apply it, then you can tweak it with the colors, fonts, and effects. But let's go ahead and focus on the image here, and you can see you've got your uppercase A, which represents the heading styles. So if you have any text that you've applied a heading style to, it'll update it if you choose the office theme with that type of style, the uppercase A. Then the lowercase a is for all the non-heading styles, the body of the text. And then you have the color palettes. And if you want something more purplish and blue-green, go with gallery. And then the effects, well, you won't see it here in the thumbnail previews for your themes. And for your page colors, come over here. You can apply one first. And then when you choose a theme over here, it'll update it to complement the colors there in the palette. And you'll notice that when I hover over one of these thumbnails, it doesn't give me a preview of it, at least for the fonts. And the reason being is because I'm not using theme fonts. By default, Word has them turned on. And I basically turned them off. You want to know how that works? Well, let me show you. Let's click off. Let's come up here, click on the Home tab, go to the Font group. And, well, let me just go ahead and click in the body of the text. And the type of font I'm using is Times New Roman. Now, is that a theme font? How do you know? Go ahead and click on the drop-down arrow. And you can see we've got three different sections. We have theme fonts, and it's not here, so I can't use themes. It won't update when I go to the Design tab to choose a theme. Then you have Recently Used Fonts, then All the Fonts. So if I want to go ahead and use the themes on the Design tab to have it update with the, well, whatever theme I choose, with the fonts for that theme, then I have to select all my text within the document and go with the body and go with that. That's Calibri. Now you're saying, wait, I don't like Calibri. Well, that's fine, but it has to be in that theme to kick it off. Then once you kick it off, you can go to the Design tab, because that's what it's all about, designing. And you can go down and tweak that and say, I want to go back to Times New Roman. You're probably asking, what's the point? You already have Times New Roman. Well, if I change my mind for different presentations, I can do it in a single click if I go with the themes. And I design it to have Times New Roman for the body. And for a different presentation, I can go ahead and customize another theme that I can go ahead and click on with something else in a single click without having to come down here, select the body of the text, and then come up here to change it to one type of font. And then when that presentation is done, go and change it to another type. And oh, that can take too long. So themes can be very advantageous if you're going to be doing a lot of changes or you want the ability to update it in a single click from, in this case, the default Calibri to something else, whatever the other themes are, and doesn't matter what they are because you can tweak them, which we'll go over in just a minute. So there's the Calibri for the body, and any heading styles that you apply will be in Cambria. So let's go ahead and do this thing. Let's select that and say you're a heading style. Okay, that's off, but that's all right. Let's stay focused and select this text right here. It's Times New Roman. Well, and let's just come up here and say your Calibri. So you can see we've got one type of font as opposed to that. And one thing I want to caution you on, well, let me click inside of that paragraph because we know that's Calibri body. So that is a theme font. But when I click on the drop down arrow and I go from Calibri with the body here in the theme fonts, I can scroll down to the C's and choose Calibri here but it doesn't have body next to it. It's not in that top section that defines it as body font. So yes, you can actually select the same type of font that 
Well, one is up here as a theme font where the other one isn't. So in any case, if you want the power to update everything within your document in a single click using the themes, and in this case the theme fonts, well, here we go. So we're now using the theme font. As you can see when I click in it, it's heading for Cambria font, and then down below it's Calibri for the body. Go back to the design, and then go ahead and click on themes, and then I want you to take a look. Well, you can only see part of the heading here. It says and charity in the document then the first paragraph, but when I go over and hover over something, oh, there you go, you see that? Oh, it's updating, oh, I'm getting excited, oh, that's fun. So, you can automatically see, if you're using the theme fonts, which again, by default, Word has it turned on when you install Word on your computer, so you don't have to do anything, but just go ahead and find one of these themes, and it'll automatically populate for you, and if you like it, great, if not, then we'll talk about how we can tweak it in just a minute. But if you're like me, and you're like, later on, you get somebody else's document, you're like, oh, I don't like that type of font, let me just go ahead and choose that and come up here and click on the drop down arrow. I don't like Calibri, I like Times, ooh, Times New Roman, then I hit enter. Notice that Times New Roman is not the current theme font. So I take it out of that structure, it's no longer looked at as a theme. So if I come up here and try to choose another theme, the only thing that changes you know, well, as you can see is and Charity behind here updates that because that's the heading style theme that gets updated with any other theme. So you have to start off with the theme fonts to be able to go ahead and use the additional themes here for it to go ahead and tag what's there that it can update. And so that can work as a pro and con. Maybe there's certain types of paragraphs within your document or themes that you want updated that you can do in a single click and other types like well, these paragraphs, they won't get updated, so maybe it can pull special emphasis or be something thematic to certain parts of your document. Again, maybe different presentations, either through a projector or just different presentations as a handout. In any case, you can have a lot of fun with that and can be quite powerful if your documents require as such, or certain parts are slightly different than the other parts. Let me go ahead and hit undo, and we'll just keep that as part of the themes there, the body theme. Now, after you apply a theme, again, you can customize it, and in this case, the fonts, if you don't like the heading style, well, this is, let's see, click in it, right-click on it, Cambria, and then right-click on this one, Calibri. Well, then come up here, click on fonts, and you can see the different types, and you can see it's just like that themes over here. You got the uppercase A, lowercase A. As you can see over here is for the heading styles and it gives you a sample for the uppercase A, and then for the body of the font, it's gonna be in a different type of font, as opposed to this style, which is the same type of font for your heading styles and the body, except that one's bigger, that one's smaller. So a smaller font size for the body of the text. In any case, if you don't like any of these, you can go ahead and click on Customize, and there you go. For the heading fonts, we can do something like Comic, there we go, Comic Sans, or you can click on the drop-down arrow and choose it. For me, it's quicker to type it in. Hit the tab key, and then for the body, uh, Calibre, that's good. And we'll call it something spiffy, because everything we do here is spiffy. Then hit the enter key on the keyboard, and hey, there you go. So it's updated. When I click in here, right-click to bring up the mini formatting toolbars, Comic Sans, click on the drop-down arrow, and it's a theme font. So, because it's a theme font, I can, of course, go ahead and click on the drop-down arrow and just go through and choose something else. but that defeats the purpose of customizing it. So now I have a theme that I tweaked for the fonts. And if I'm like, okay, how about the colors? Well, for colors, let's go ahead and insert a shape. Come up here, click on the Insert tab, go to the Illustrations group, click on Shapes, and I want to draw a circle. I know it says Oval, but let's click on Oval. And you can see I've got a black cross that when I click and drag, it is oval, but when I hold down the Shift key, it pops it open to a circle. Oh, that's nice. Go ahead and let that go. And so now that we have something that's got color applied to it, if I go back to my design tab and I click on themes, you can see when I hover over it, it updates the circle to give me something that keeps it harmonized with everything else and the colors, the color palette for that theme. And if I don't like the colors, any of the themes here, or, you know, since I already tweaked the fonts here, I don't want to come back in here and choose something that's going to have a different font, so how about if we just go ahead and click on the Colors drop-down arrow, and then go ahead and choose one of the themes here if you'd like. And you can see when I hover over blue-green, well, the heading style updates. 
and well you can't see the shape behind it updating but if I click off and I click and drag the shape over here okay there we go and then I can go ahead and hover over it and you see how it keeps it in harmony cool if you don't like the palettes here then you can go ahead and click on customize colors and in the sample window we have light text against a dark background and then we have dark text against a light background and so you can look over here and see which one by deductive reasoning there's black so black text against a light background as opposed to white text against a dark background so when it comes to your themes you do have background colors and you want your text to stand out if you choose a page color that's completely pitch black you want something white and also with your accent colors when it comes to inserting like charts or smart art you want something that begins well the first color the first accent if it's a column chart you've got it uh, light blue and then red light blue red so however you want to start it off go ahead and choose I'll keep it simple so for the light background we'll choose something dark maybe not black text click on the drop down arrow and choose red you can see how it looks in the sample window and go oh that's just loverly and then you can go ahead and tweak the rest of it and well let's do this one choose yellow for the text background here and then you've got your hyperlinks so when you do insert hyperlinks into your document well against a dark background you only get one choice so if I go ahead and say don't make it blue and there it is make it well, something lighter well that pops but it doesn't work well against a light background now does it so I'll go ahead and change it back to that in any case go ahead and give it a name something that you'll always remember something spiffy and then if you're like no, I don't like this you can go ahead and reset it all so it goes back to the way it was before we made the changes but I'll keep it as spiffy and click save and then come up here click on the colors drop down arrow and that's our spiffy setup as opposed to something else here in any case let's go ahead and click off and then finally our effects we can come over here click on effects and you know what you can't customize the effects you can just go ahead and choose one well go ahead and hover over it and then watch the circle on the document it'll give you a preview before you go ahead and click on it so I'm moving around and oh, okay glossy got a little glossy okay enough with that you can go ahead and choose one of them and when you choose the one that you like and you're like okay this is my theme this is my one theme that's a collection of the colors that I customize and my fonts and effects and if you want to keep a hold of that theme so that way you don't have to do this all over again then come over here click on the drop down arrow for themes and say that you want to save your current theme click on it opens up the document themes folder Let me click and drag and move it down and since everything here was spiffy colors spiffy fonts then it's got to be a spiffy theme and then go ahead and hit enter on the keyboard and that's it so if I come up here and click on file go down to new and click on blank document is my theme available here design themes it is oh that's spiffy so let's go ahead and close out of here it's available in all new documents and if for some reason you need to go ahead and edit this either the themes the colors the fonts well let's do themes first click on it and then right click on your spiffy you can delete it that's the best you can do but if you want to tweak this then with it already selected and applied in the document then you can come over here and tweak everything here then just go ahead and save it as something else and then come over here click on colors you can right click on your spiffy color you can go ahead and edit it make changes to it and of course you can go ahead and right click on it to delete it and then your fonts same thing there's my custom font right click edit and or right click to delete and the effects just the way they are you can't make any changes by right clicking on them you can add gallery to the quick access toolbar if you want to add it up here but I'll leave it alone and then one more thing how about the page color don't want to forget that come over to the page background click on page color in case if you do want a page color and if we choose something light well, let's just apply one there we go and I come back up here click on themes of course any that I choose here will update it with its own page color Wow that is quite the circuit in any case if you want a page color go ahead and apply it you may want to work on choosing something that's complementary and that seems okay 
And then if you want to go ahead and update your theme, that includes not only the colors, fonts, and effects, but the background page color, then go ahead and click on themes. And then you can't right click on it to say, go save it. So you have to come down here and click on save current theme. And you can overwrite the theme that we just saved, Spiffy, by selecting it, then clicking save. And we want to replace it, yes. So now it's been updated. Anytime we create a new blank document, it's going to be there until we go ahead and come up here and right click on it to delete it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.